Hello! Today I'm going to show you some supplier information in a sourcing event. Not only how to add, but how to delete, and some scenarios that you might want to use in future sourcing events. So I've already come to my sourcing event, I've already added some additional information here, and I'm now on the supplier page. So there are a couple different features here that I think it's important to note. First, when you come to the Add Supplier button, you can see there's a lot of options. I can actually copy all from another event. So if I have another event that I've seen someone do and I want to kind of send my info to those same suppliers, I can use that feature. If there's a template out there, so there are some templates that specifically do lead us towards our nationally contracted suppliers, such as Uniform, Print, promos, etc. Those are always good templates to use for this, specifically if you're sending something out in those categories that maybe isn't covered by a national contract but should be awarded to one of those suppliers. You could copy from a template. You can also copy from previous events. Um, so, and you can select. So like these, this would be copy all, this would be select just a few. So you don't necessarily have to pull all of them in and delete. So that's pretty cool. You can also add a new, and this is individually by supplier. So I'm going to copy all from a template, um, and you can see there's a lot of templates here. So you can see some of these say do not use. Some people created templates for events, which is interesting. Um, and so I'm actually going to type in P PNG and pick from one of the PNG templates here for um, let's pick surveillance that's pretty cool and hit add and then it's going to take all of the suppliers that we have um, on that particular template so you can see it added a supplier um, now I can choose to add more suppliers if this isn't the supplier I thought it was going to be I can use this edit or delete button if this is not the person I want to email within this company, I can use the edit button and change their information. So that's all different options I have within this screen. I can also add suppliers. Now when I'm adding individual suppliers, you can see here that when I start typing, the system is going to start to give me a drop down. Now all of these drop downs are registered active suppliers. So this is kind of our list of suppliers that's in the system that we can select from. So I'm going to select maximum business. As you can see, it populates his information. I can always change this if Robert's not the person I want to send it to and I want to send it to like the PNG MBS, I can send that email here and I can hit save. Now, a really good question and I think a lot of people miss this is, do I have to send a sourcing event to an already registered supplier? Absolutely not. That's one of the reasons that Coupa is so user friendly when it comes to sourcing events because I realize that I may want to see what pricing the supplier could give me and what services they can provide without having them go through the registration process. So in this case, I would just go to add supplier, add new. I'm not going to worry about the drop down this time and I'm just going to pick um, Nikki's party favors and notice there was no drop down that's fine i can just type in the person i'm trying to email i can type in their email address and i can hit save and then it's going to add my non-registered supplier here now a hint before you award to this supplier, they have to be registered. So this can only take you so far, but you can at least get the bid process done, see if, they, see if they're worthwhile to be registered, see if they should be registered, that kind of thing before you actually start the registration process. So this is how you add suppliers, edit suppliers, and select different suppliers to your sourcing events.